Welcome to A Course in Business Miracles. This is Heather Dominic, creator of businessmiracles.com and founder and leader of the highly sensitive entrepreneur movement. Join me today for some genuine practical assistance and a business altering and life changing experience. A business miracle. This is A Course in Business Miracles, episode number 77, Path of Transformation. There is a proven pathway out of the HSE coping cycle. Let me share this powerful path of transformation with you. Listen in as I first review the HSE coping cycle and then share the two most crucial steps you must take to break the cycle. Let's look at the coping cycle. So let's just walk through this together. So first of all, the cycle begins with a trigger. So it's a trigger because it's a shadow. It doesn't feel in alignment and it throws us into anxiety, which then throws us into fear, which throws us into a lack of safety, which has us right into our HSE coping mechanism of pushing, hiding, or combo plattering. And as I spoke about at the spring training retreat, this happens in nanoseconds. This can happen so fast, which is why we take the time to come together for training retreats and slow it all down. That we do, as I said yesterday, the work in here together in a safe, sacred space so that we can go back out there with a greater sense of awareness and understanding and the opportunity to practice the process of creating change. Now, what happens after the coping mechanism? So from the coping mechanism, we go into collapsing, beating ourselves up, which is often accompanied with shame. So if we're a pusher, we will most likely collapse in some way. We get sick. We decide to stay on the couch in our pajamas for days. We are exhausted. We get bitchy. We lash out. And or as a hider, but also definitely as a pusher and a combo platter, we beat ourselves up. I can't believe I'm here again. I know better. Why am I doing this? You're so stupid. What's wrong with you? You went to the spring training retreat. Shouldn't you be cured? (laughs) Get it together. I wish I was just an 80 percenter. I'm really probably best suited for working at McDonald's. And then from collapsing and beating ourselves up, which you also heard in shares earlier this morning, we go into soothing. All of the ways that we have learned as highly sensitives to make ourselves feel better. That might be in the form of taking a nap, as Lorraine said. Or it might be in the form of completely shutting down, as Chelsea was saying. Or it might be in the form of eating, or drinking, or drug use, or going to the movies, reading Harry Potter, taking a bath, meditating, yoga. Now, there isn't anything wrong with any of those things that I just listed, except maybe the hard drugs and the overdose of the alcohol or drinking, right? 
There's nothing wrong with any of those things. So it's not about the fact of what you are doing, but the why you are doing it and the way that you are doing it. And usually at this point in the cycle, it is unconscious. It is driven from that 80% of the brain, as I mentioned earlier, that is working simply out of habit in an attempt to be efficient. Been down this road a million times before, ice cream always does the trick. Been down this road a million times before, chocolate per Carolina. Been down this road a million times before, I'm gonna go meditate for 72 hours. Or book a massage, or take a walk. And again, nothing wrong except why and the way. From soothing, we go into recovery and rebound. We start to recover. We get our energy back if we're a pusher. We get our inspiration or motivation back if we're a hider or a little bit of either one if you're a combo platter, just depending on what's hit at the particular moment. And you start to feel like, okay, I get my mojo back. If all of this happens unconsciously, without awareness, without a sense of self-inquiry, then we are still in the cycle. Nothing has been learned. There isn't a moment of wisdom. And so then, lo and behold, the next something-something comes around and triggers us, and we're right back in it. And this is when your life starts to feel like one big merry-go-round that you don't know how to get off. And this is when you start to feel stuck in your business and confused and like your life is not your own and that it's out of your control. And so that's often where soothing will come into because that is a moment of control. So your ego mind wants you to believe. But again, if it's unconscious, without awareness, then we're right back in it. And yet, there is a way out. And the way out is through what I refer to as the path of transformation, otherwise known in the Business Miracles community as IUK. And IUK stands for awareness, A, U, understanding, and K, knowing. It's like, oh, yeah, okay, I think I might be soothing. And then we go into understanding, which is intellectual. So then we start to think, oh, I remember Heather talking about this. I get this. I'm soothing right now. And that's where most people stop, in the path of transformation, whether it has to do with the coping cycle or not. The mind fools you into believing that because you understand it, you've got it. And then it happens all over again, back into the cycle, and you're like, but wait a minute, I totally understand this. Why is this still happening? Because it has not yet moved into knowing, which is an embodiment and that membrane change that I was speaking about earlier from Brian Lipton. So how do we get from understanding to knowing? This is what I refer to as choice, action, choice, action. So the minute you hit understanding, you make a choice to take an action that will bring you closer to knowing. And then you make another choice, 
and you take another action and you make another choice and you take another action. Choice, action, choice, action, choice, action, choice, action, choice, action, choice, action. I could just keep going until we hit the knowing. Now, why could I keep going? Because this is what I talk about when I say that the process is the goal. Because the outside influence to instantly change a cell that Brian Lipton has proved must happen numerous times in order for the impact to be long lasting into knowing. But again, this is where most people stop, highly sensitive or not. Thank you for listening. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of A Course in Business Miracles. If you're ready to learn how to use your highly sensitive abilities to support you in being purposeful, profitable, and empowered rather than scattered, poor, and undervalued, Take my free self quiz to find out if you are indeed a highly sensitive entrepreneur. And if you are, along with your quiz results, you'll receive my free HSE success guide, which will teach you how to have your highly sensitive abilities working for you to create the results you desire in your business. Take the quiz and receive your free success guide now at www.hsequiz.com.